Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a magnetic excursion update Saturday, November 23rd, around 7.45 p.m. Mountain Time, 2024. The GFS model for Europe shows significant snows for the UK, Scandinavia, and the Alps. Keep calm. It's boom time. A quick look at the three-day storm that blasted America shows many areas with three feet or more across the West. Absolutely an epic storm tilting the snowpack in the region to record levels. The Northeast saw a good amount of snow, including some areas picking up two feet in the Catskills, the Poconos, and even the high elevations of West Virginia. A quick look at the snowpack for the West shows record snowpack all the way down to Texas, the nexus of the Schmexus, with many basins at or above ridiculous averages. Look at some of these numbers. 628% of average, 494% of average, 617% of average. You get the picture. The rest of the basins looking good or near average as more snow is coming. And here's the full forecast. Active weather for the west and warming in the east. I I find that funny because there are frost and freeze warnings all across the southeast. The potential for heavy snow at higher elevations in the western U.S. will continue for many spots through the weekend. And in the meantime, the eastern half of the continental U.S. will transition from record cold and frost and freeze warnings to above normal temperatures ahead of a pair of cold fronts next week that will bring readings back to closer to normal and more snow for all the regions that just received it. And take a look at the GFS model through the first week of December. Let's walk it through for you. Here is the rest of tonight, Saturday into Sunday morning. You can see snow continuing in the west and a smattering of snow continuing in the northeast, but that will come to an end by Monday. And more snow comes and moves into the west as another system dips its way down and moves its way across the center of Uh, The U.S. and then the Northeast here beginning on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Heavy activity there. And then after the weekend, at the beginning of the week, take a look what happens here Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. That lake effect snow kicks in, and we could be seeing some record-breaking snow totals for the lake effect regions. And it's not just the U.S. that it's getting snow and record cold temperatures. It's cold and snowy in Europe. England's lowest temperature since 2014 was recorded. And Ireland hits record electric demand with fierce winter forecasts for India as well. Let's talk about a cold, snowy Europe. A powerful cold wave is sweeping into Europe. Cap, you missed an S there. Already delivering record-breaking temperatures and heavy snowfall. Monte Rosa in the Alps registered minus 29.4 C or minus 20.9 Fahrenheit in the early hours of November 22nd. That's yesterday. The coldest in late November since 2007 and the third morning straight with a sub minus 29 C reading. Holy macaroni. Elsewhere, Mont Blanc reached minus 30.9 C or minus 23.6 degrees Fahrenheit. While in Norway, Opdal Setar saw minus 17.9 C Thursday, setting a record for this early in the season since measurements began. Switzerland, one of the nations at the heart of this winter assault with widespread record-breaking snow forecast, meteorologists expect a foot in the lowlands and much more up high. One of the heaviest November snow events on record looms for Switzerland. Records are already falling, in fact. The southern Swiss town of Loco, Locarno Monti, received 5.9 inches or 15 centimeters of snow Friday morning, breaking a November record in weather books dating back to 1935. At level three, weather warnings has been issued for much of the country with significant disruption already seen on roads and public transport. Bus services in Bern have been suspended. And downtown... 
in Bern. It doesn't look any better. Cafes are closed. Well, and the prospect of biking is bleak. Here is the snowfall forecast for Europe through December 7th and much of Eastern Russia. Shut up, Al. Get in your hole. Al Gore. Well, no bunt cake for Al tonight. Seismic update. No quakes of note. Recent rumbler on the mid-ocean ridge here near the eastern island region at 5.0. Normal activity worldwide. Worldwide Volcano News list for today is epic. Starting with Popo Catabeto. Popo puffing and passing the 19,000 foot. Kicking off the list. Canelon to nine. Nevado de Ruiz. Some ash reported there. Ibu to 8,000. Fuego to 15. Libutobi to 11. Samaru to 14. Who knew? Now you do. Manam to 8. Dempo, new volcano on the list. 12,000 foot puff today. Popo to 19. Sabankaya, possible ash there. Liwatobi to 11. Ibu, 8,000 foot blast. Sangay, new volcanic ash. Fuego to 15. Semaru to 14. Manam to 8. Nevado de Cruiz to 19,000 foot. Sukurajima, 9,000 foot blast. All the red triangles are erupting volcanoes today. Popo to 19,000 foot. Svartsengi on the Reykjanes Peninsula. The eruption is ongoing at consistent levels, concentrated on two main vents. Take a look at the phreatic explosion occurring this afternoon inside the summit crater of Dempo. Absolutely historic. Now, a phreatic explosion is when groundwater mixes with an active uh, magma chamber. Well, and the Water catastrophically boils and goes boom. Raventador, 16,000 foot blast. Savankaya, unable to detect. Fuego to 15, Libatobi to 10. Wrapping up worldwide volcano news for the day. A quick look at space weather. We've got a sunspot array turning around the disk. Two active regions. Very little activity. Uh, low level M flares. Speaking of X-flares, the last time an X-flare was detected was back on November 6th with a few big sunspot groups now visible. We'll see a major event during the next several days. Perhaps there is currently a 60% chance for additional M-flares and a 15% chance for a strong X-flare. China's Mars Zhurong rover finds an ocean shoreline on the red planet. The Chinese Mars rover Zhurong is adding an exciting twist to the story and history of water on Mars. After landing in the southern Utopia Plan Planitia on Mars in May of 2021, the now defunct Zhurong rover went to work exploring the Martian surface. And its latest findings might just change the way we think about the red planet. Bo Wu and a team of researchers from the Hong Kong Polytechnic University believe they found compelling evidence of an ocean shoreline for a massive body of water that once covered Mars's northern lowlands. All the links will be below. In just a few minutes, over at Magnetic Reversal News is the best hour in scientific discourse. Lee and I will be talking about Auguste Picard's record-breaking hydrogen balloon ascent to over 10 miles into the stratosphere. We'll also discuss the saber-toothed cat mummy, the most significant Pleistocene paleontological discovery of all times. And we will refresh your memory on the cosmic catastrophe clock cycle. So please join us in a few minutes over at Magnetic Reversal News for some real scientific discourse. And to all of my fellow Americans who are hoping for a different outcome this election cycle, I promise you, if you turn off the news and just focus on enjoying your life, the only changes you'll see are cheaper gas, cheaper groceries, cost of living going down, less crime, healthier ingredients in our foods, no wars, and less pharmaceutical commercials. I promise you, once you detox from the 24-hour lying news cycle, your life will change. And the first step is growing your own food with open-pollinated non-GMO seed from the Alliance of Native Seed Keepers and Birdie County Seeds. Yesterday, there were 50 varieties in the store, 
Today, we have 162 varieties and growing. The cheapest prices on planet Earth for seeds of this quality, $2 per pack. If you buy $25 or more, shipping is free. Add our coupon code ORP2024 for an additional 10% off, and the seeds pay for themselves. Sunflower seeds like chocolate, cherry, and velvet queen, Cherokee Trail of Tears, string beans, and black bean seeds, cilantro, slow bolting cilantro, cucumbers, carrots, corn, and more. 162 varieties now in stock. Support your preparedness, support your friends' preparedness, and buy them seeds for the holidays. It's the best gift. It's the gift that keeps giving. And that's a boom to knowledge. Please share the video. We are shadow banned. We need your help to grow. Become a Patreon. Support the work we do and watch all of our podcasts in one place, commercial free. We love each and every one of you. Be safe. And we'll see you over at Magnetic Reversal News for the next boom. <laughs>